Oaks, and I'm Avery Davidson. Thank you for joining us for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, the only TV show bringing Louisiana farmers and consumers together every week. Olive growers will tell you that there is something very ancient and romantic about growing olives in places like California and Europe. However, that idea of romance is not lost on do-it-yourselfers who want to grow olives here at home in Louisiana. As Twilight's A.J. Sabine shows us, that independent spirit captured many of the participants at the LSU Ag Center's Olive and Fig Field Day. On a breezy late spring morning at the LSU Ag Center's Hammond Research Station, visitors stretch their legs and march over to learn more about olives. This is called a guard tree. While not generally associated with Louisiana agriculture, interest in growing olives here in the Pelican State has grown over the past few years, says LSU researcher Jason Stagg. With the olives, what we'd like to do is just be able to give uh, folks some recommendations on exactly which olives grow well in Louisiana because they've never really been tested by a university to see which ones establish well and which ones uh, won't make it. Attorney Renee Thorne has considered growing olives on her property in Tangipahoe Parish for a long time. Her family's Italian heritage and the romance of growing olives compelled her to attend this field day. And a few years ago I got the idea that I wanted to grow something nobody else was growing. So I started researching different things and olives sort of popped up in my research and there's something very romantic about them and very ancient about them and that appealed to me so then I just started doing more and more research and found out that they are growing uh, in the South, in southeast uh, United States. LSU's new fig orchard also attracted many visitors to this field day. Unlike olives, figs have grown here in Louisiana for generations. Today, they enjoy a bit of a renaissance. Southern University Extension agent Delane Ross says young and older folks alike want to know more about this Southern classic. As a person who you know has a home in Mississippi, uh, it's good to see some of the things that grow close to home, such as the figs or the uh, olive trees that they have here. Uh, I think that just in general, LSU has some of the uh, best research in terms of most of the things that we grow. And it's, it's always good for informational purposes. Scientists here at the Hammond Research Station note that many homeowners desire an edible landscape on their property. Figs and olives fit that bill perfectly, says researcher Jason Stagg. You've seen a resurgence because of a couple of factors. One is the increase in the number of farmers markets in the state. So it's easier now to get a fruit like figs to a wider audience than it was instead of just shipping them to a grocery store because they have to be picked fairly ripe um, and they taste better that way when they're shipped immediately and brought to a farmer's market. Second of all, I think there's this new trend in horticulture uh, that has also helped uh, provide some of this increased interest, which is foodscaping or edible landscaping, so that folks really would prefer to have not only something that's ornamental or may provide shade in their yard, but something that's also a food source that they can add to their diet and get another benefit out of it. Now, as many of you may have guessed, about 90% of harvested olives are pressed for oil. Additionally, LSU scientists presented the latest research on blueberries, as well as vegetable and tea trials. Now, if you would like more information about Louisiana Fruit and Vegetable Association or the Olive and Fig Field Day, please log on to our website at twilighttv.org. And Adrian and Kristen, it was so delightful to see the passion of people who really have an interest in growing olives here in our state. Passion mm -hmm. for people who grow a lot of olives, I take mm -hmm. it. How many of those people who grow them in Louisiana, how many varieties originated in the United States? Actually, Kristen, I'm so glad you asked me that question. Hint, hint, wink, wink. <laughs> There's only one variety of all the different varieties of olives that originate from Europe. Only one comes from California here in the United States. Very mm -hmm. interesting. I bet we'll see an olive tree in her uh, yard very soon. Or at least an olive branch. <laughs> <laughs> Just for you. <laughs> Moving on, well, 